Sending email is part of any application really. And we need to send uh, an email to a user when they register. So we're gonna be creating a registered view, which is gonna act as our email. We're gonna be creating a mailer class, which sends out an email and allows us to do that really easily within our route. So we don't have to write too much code in there and get make everything messy. Um, and we're going to be using PHP mailer for this. And we're gonna be connecting to an SMTP server to be able to send the email. And then later on, we can add email activation by sending an email to a user and allowing them to click a link to activate their account. So I have my email client up here, which is just Google Mail, and I'm currently logged in. So I need to log myself out to be able to register again. So if you need to do this, you just want to bring up your Chrome developer tools or whichever tools that you're using uh, via your web browser. And under cookies and localhost, you just want to get rid of that PHP session ID, refresh, and you're back to the original state of being signed out. So let's head over to the register view. And we're going to register in a moment, but we're going to build up this mail functionality uh, first of all. So remember at the start of the series, we pulled in PHP mailer as a dependency in our project. We now need to add this to our container. So if we come down here and create a singleton, and we're gonna call this mail. And remember we want to put app in that scope. Here we're gonna set up a new PHP mailer instance. We're gonna add the configuration to it and then we're gonna return a new mailer object which we're going to build ourselves. The reason that we're building this mailer object ourselves is so we can use that uh, was a nice functionality to be able to send an email. We don't have to rely on uh, the standard way of sending email with PHP mailer. And this also means you can switch PHP mailer out for any other uh, way of sending email and you can modify that original class uh, or create a new class to handle that. So let's get on with this and we'll see how we get on. So I'm gonna create a mailer variable here. That's gonna be a new PHP mailer instance. And now we need to set configuration for this. So remember, we have our configuration set up inside of config development. I have the email address for my Google Mail account and my password here as well, and all the other information as well. Uh, like I said before, if you're not using uh, Gmail, these settings will be different. But if you do want to test this with these settings, you might just want to set up a Google Mail account just to test this out. So uh, what we want to do then is part of PHP Mailer, we use properties to set our configuration. So we say Mailer host is something. We also have whether we're using SMTP authentication. We also have SMTP secure, which is the method of authentication. We have the port. We have the username that we're connecting to that server with and we have the password that we're connecting to that server with. So we know all of this information. So the host comes from our config. So we just use the config object to get mail.host, which is, just pull this up for reference. So it's mail.host. We can copy and paste this to save having to type it out again and again. So that's mail.smtp.auth. So that goes in there. Uh, we have the same thing for secure. So that's SMTP underscore secure. So it's that option in there, TLS. We have the port. So it's mail.port. We have mail.username. And we have mail.password. So we're nearly there. What we do need to do now is allow HTML email. So I'm going to say mailer is HTML. And this is a true or false value within this method. So we just say app. Oh, we can paste this in. App config get mail. And we have HTML there. So HTML. So now what we want to do is return a new mailer object, which we haven't created yet. So return mailer object. We'll do that in just a moment, but we need to create this mailer object. So under code course, because we want all these to be auto loaded and they're part of our project, we want to create a new mail directory. So let's create a new mail folder there. And inside of here, 
we're going to have a mailer class. We namespace this under code course mail and our class is called mailer. So the way this is going to work is let's just actually take a look at the syntax of how we want this to work. First of all, that will help us build up the class and kind of know what we're doing. So if we head over to our roots and come under register, what we want to do is if the remember, if the validation passes, we create a user at this point, we want to send an email and this is going to look like this app mail, which is remember the mail object in our container. And then we want to say send, we want to choose the view that we want to use. So we're going to be storing our email contents in view as well. We're not going to be writing all the content out within each um, route because that's kind of inefficient. We want to have a view that contains all the data. So for example, it will be email auth registered.php. And then we want to be able to send through any variables to that view. So think of the view just as a normal view, but we don't see it. We just send it as an email. And then what we have is a callback just here. And that allows us to define our message. And what we do in here is we say message to, and in this case, we could say something like user email and because user isn't in this scope. We could just say use user. And then we could say something like message subject. Thanks for registering. So this syntax, although it seems a little bit complicated at first, it can actually be quite powerful and it's actually easier to remember. And it allows us to keep things nice and clean by not having to write out loads of text content inside of here. We just pick the view that we want to send. We attach data in, in an array. So for example, you could say something like user and pass that user object to that view. And then you could pick out their first name or last name or whatever you wanted to do. We then build up the message like this. So this might seem like oh, it's going to be really complicated to build all of this functionality. It's not actually going to be that difficult. So let's comment this out for now because it doesn't work. Uh, we need to build up our mailer class. So to be able to send an email, we need the package we're using to send an email, which is our mailer. So let's create a mailer property at the top here. And we also have a view or an ability to render views and that's our slim view. So as part of this mailer, we inject the mailer as a dependency and we uh, inject the ability to render views. So that's view and mailer. So in here, we want to say this mailer equals mailer. We've already seen dependency injection throughout the series, so we should know how this works now. So we have these two here. So let's just move this one above here. And let's just move this above here just so they're in the right order. Okay, so now what we want to do is implement that send method. So remember over here, we have this send method on mail. Uh, in fact, before that, we'll just pass in or return a new mailer. And uh, yeah, so we're returning a new mailer, which is this class here, but we need to pass in ability to specify a view and the actual mailer itself. So within here, how do we do that? Well, what we need to do is we need to say app view. This is uh, Slim's way of rendering views, which we've already seen. We're using Twig and we pass in the mailer here. So this is how we send email, passing it through. And this is how we render views, passing it through, because remember our email is a view. So mailer is namespaced. So up here, we're going to say use code course mail mailer and let's just put this up here or rather here just then neatly lined up and let's create that send method so remember to be able to send what we do is we pass in a view we pass in data and we pass in a callback which then attaches the user's email and the subject and things like that so we have 
the template that we want to render inside of the email, the data that we want to pass through to that template, and the callback function. So what we need to do now then is when we actually send a message, we need to specify who we're sending the email to and the subject. And that's gonna come from our message class, which we haven't created. So we're splitting this up just so we're separating the concerns of this. The message class's uh, role is to build up a message unique to whatever package we're using to send email. And this means that we shouldn't have to modify the mailer class, we should only have to modify the message class. So let's build this class now. It lives in that folder mail, so we're going to namespace it under code course mail. And the class is message. So the message class then is uh, essentially uh, its job is to deal with sending or, or building up the email. So to do this, we need our package as a dependency. Mailer, and I'll tell you why we're doing this a little bit more about why we're doing this in just a moment. We have a construct on here to inject that dependency. And we set this mailer to mailer. And this is where we're going to have functionality like two. We're going to have functionality like setting the subject and also setting the body. Now, as I mentioned, I'm going to explain why we're doing this. Mailer, when we send a message, shouldn't have to change. Uh, we shouldn't have to modify this class at all because all we're doing is we're passing in which mailer we're using. That's going to get passed off to message, which is then responsible for building up who the email is to, the subject, the body, regardless of uh, this is regardless of what uh, sort of mail package we're using to send email, but this does concern. So if we were to change who we're sending email with, so if we were to change PHP mailer for something else, we could just modify this class or create a new uh, type of class. Um, in this case, we're just assuming we're sticking with PHP mailer, but you can modify this to build up the email in the way specific to that package. Anyway, let's uh, carry on with this. So to send an email to someone, we want to provide an address. Provide a subject, we need a subject. And for the body, we need a body. So how do we uh, define within PHP Mailer how we're sending an email or who we're sending an email to? All we do is we say this Mailer, which is remember PHP Mailer. We say add address and we pass that address in. And you could also even include their name and then PHP Mailer lets you attach their name as well. This we just need to change within here. So it's, you know, whatever you want to do, but we won't include it for now. Okay, so for the subject, it's uh, pretty much the same thing. We just say this mailer, but this time it's just a property. So it's subject, and then we assign that subject. And then body is exactly the same thing. Mailer body equals body. Now we're not using body within Let's go back to register. We're not using body within here, but we are using two and subject. The reason we're not using body within there is because we're going to use body within send because that is how we grab our template and set the body of the email. So um, under message then, this is pretty much done. What we need to do under mailer now is create a new message instance. So we say message, new message. We pass in this mailer, which then goes through to here as the address adds the subject adds the body when we need to uh, message needs to be uh, or it doesn't actually need to be imported because it's in the same folder here so what is the next step then because uh, we're not too far off getting this done now we need to append the data to the view that we've passed in so what we do is we say this view append data and we pass in the data that we pass into the send method, which is here. So send, we specify the template, we specify the data, and then we have a callback, which we'll see how that works in a minute. So we're appending data to view. Now we want to say message body. 
and that's from our message class, remember. But how do we get the body of the email? Well, that's just rendering the template that we pass in here. So all we need to do is say this view render. We've already seen the render method before, so we know how uh, things are rendered as in normal views. But this time we're passing in the location to the template, which is then putting that template in the body. Now we need to call the closure here along with the message here so it can build up them or it can use them functions or their methods. So we use call user func for this. We're calling the callback with that message. So essentially what happens here is when we call the send method, we can, I guess, uncomment this just for now. When we call the send method, we pass in the uh, template, we pass in the data, and we pass in a callback. So at the template level, we know how this works now. We append data to our view, and we set the body from the rendered template. And then we call the callback, which uses the to method and subject. We have a message argument in here, which then calls the methods here to and subject sets them and then we can go ahead and send the email so we just say this mailer send and that is it that is how we're going to send emails we're all done so what we can do now is actually create that template uh, for the uh, message we're sending so it's e email auth registered.php so if you haven't already written this out at mail send you want to go ahead and write this out now so we just have the template data and the callback using user so we can actually set that appropriately. So let's create this view then. So under views, I'm gonna create a new folder called email. And inside of here, I'm gonna create a new folder, not a new file called auth. And then I'm gonna create a new file called registered.php. This is the email contents. So because this is a Twig template, we can extend a common email template exactly as we did with our normal templates. So what we're going to do is we can just test this out for now. You have registered and we can go and register now. Uh, let's say tabby at codecourse.com. We'll make sure that database record is removed. We can enter a username, a password, register. Okay, so undefined variable user in uh, register.php on line 32. Let's just check this out on line 32. Ah, okay, so what we're doing here is we're passing through user, but it doesn't obviously doesn't exist. When we create a record, uh, as long as it was successful, if we assign it the val uh, assign it to a particular variable, we'll get all of that information back. So we can pass all that data through to that view. So uh, let's try this just once more. Let's delete this record here. Let's give that a username and a password. Hit register. And there we go, you have been registered. Now we can head over to our email client and we see uh, this is from root user, but that's just because Gmail knows I'm sending it from the same email address uh, authenticated. I'm sending it from tabby at cocourse.com to tabby at cocourse.com. But now we see thanks for registering and we see you have registered. So this is our view. This is what we defined in that callback and we're all good to go. So now what we can do is focus on email templates to build up a common template for all of our emails so we can um, greet the user maybe within that template or add a really nice design to it or, or anything like that. So let's jump on in the next video and look at building up nice templates within our emails.